Welcome to Bolivia. Now this is where it might get tricky. Yes. We're in the Bolivian embassy in Puno. We're asking what we need to try cross the land border. So okay, we just, we just came out of the Bolivian embassy. Uh, IPRU told us a little bit different. So we can cross the land border for sure. Uh, all we need is proof of a vaccine. International insurance. International insurance to cover travel and a PCR test within and 72 hours. And IP, uh, IPRU said we don't need the test. So, just to know, it is open, we can cross, and you need those three things. And from Britain, we don't need a visa. From a lot of European countries, you won't need a visa. I'm not sure which countries you need a visa for Bolivia. She had a list. And um, so perfect, we can cross the border in a couple of weeks. That yeah. saves us a lot of money because yeah. yeah. the flights are so expensive. Yeah. So we are so happy we're going to celebrate yeah. with pizza. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Hi guys. So today we're going to get a COVID test. We got information where to do the test from iPeru information in Puno. Yep. We're going to do the test, then find a photocopy place, photocopy some of our passports, vaccination forms, and, and show you... COVID insurance. COVID insurance and show you all the way how to cross the border to Yeah, so Bolivia. we're planning to cross the border tomorrow so if we walk the vaccination, uh, the PCR test centre is just up here yes. the one we've been shown, it's just around the corner if we get past the traffic it's just here so this one Oh, it's quite a few people in there so yeah, we're going to go get the PCR test now, go photocopy all our documents and then tomorrow we're going to get a Collectivo to the border. So we'll show you everything that we do. So let's go get the PCR test. So we're in the lab now and it costs 290? 290 souls. 290 souls. Each. Each. It's expensive. Each is, yeah. And worth 120 quid. But we need it to get yeah. to Bolivia, so <coughs> no choice. It's more expensive in Cusco, so you know, the sooner they get rid of the PCR tests, the better it is for backpackers because it mm. takes a massive chunk out of our budget oh, just yes. doing these tests. So the sooner they're gone, the better. Yes. Yes. So we're just waiting to get our test, and we've got to go on a website to get our results. So hopefully, we get them today so we can cross the border early tomorrow morning. But we'll see. <laughs> they gave us a receipt, so we've got to go on the website they gave us. Our login is our ID number, and they gave us a special password, which we're going to log on later and get our results. So we're just waiting now to do the test. I don't know why I'm nervous a little bit. Well, I, I was nervous, yeah. You were too. Yeah. Strange, yeah? Yeah. Because if, it's, like, if it is positive, that's a lot of money down the drain. I know. But we do have our home test, and I did do one this morning, that was negative. So, fingers crossed. Yeah, so we should be okay. Yeah. So, we just did our test. Oh, God. I said to Kasha, I swear she poked all the way through to my eyeball. Oh, my God. The tears coming out of my eyes when she did my nose. <laughs> I don't think it was that bad. Oh, the, the mouth one was fine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is the lab. I'll post the location. It's, what's the time? about half nine in the morning we'll get the results by 5 p.m. tonight which is perfect so we can go Photocopy. print off the results if we want and Photocopy we can fill everything. on the form we need to enter to Bolivia if we want to go tomorrow morning so it's the timing is working out really well yeah I think we should go tomorrow morning yeah, yeah early I think so. quite early get there and then get across straight to La Paz I think so but apparently we need a, a location for where we're staying in La Paz so uh, we're going to book our hotel now, or maybe tonight, once we get the results. Do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Just in case. Get it positive. Yeah. Oh no. No, we, anyway, should, we shouldn't be. So, uh, we're going back to the hostel now. So that was quite easy actually. Very just, easy. just expensive. And as we were there, there was, a, whoop, there was another um, foreign couple. I yeah, the a couple of tourists walked in and said exactly the same stuff as them. We need yeah. a COVID test for Bolivia. Yeah. And can we pay my card? 
Yeah, literally. The only thing I think their Spanish was much better than much ours. Better than ours. But we got through. Yeah. We got past. Yeah. So yeah, no, just we, hold over. We print out all of this for one sixty. So one sold sixty. So so cheap. We've yeah. got documents, passports, as we said, vaccination proof and insurance proof and we'll yeah. get our proof of a negative test later we'll and print it off we're going to print that out and we're going to get the um what is it the passenger location form and i'm thinking to print that out as well just to be sure yeah okay well, so that's it so uh later, later on when we get our results we'll show you so it's five o'clock we just got our results we are both negative Yay! so we're gonna go print it out I don't think you need it maybe, but we will anyway. Yeah, we're going to print it out anyway. Because that's our first crossing the border in South America. Yeah, so, so we'll be safe and do that. Uh, and then we did the... What do you call it? Then we booked accommodation in La Paz. Oh, yeah, so we can. actually decided when we booked Airbnb, because uh, it worked out the best option for us. And uh, then uh, for Bolivia, you have to fill out a form each time you change accommodation. Yeah, it's crazy. Bit of a pain. The crazy thing is, the form asks you like a lot of details: your name, mm. surname, um, address, whatever, of the accommodation. And the, the crazy thing is, you have to post a picture of the front of the accommodation, which we don't have. So we just went into Google Maps, type the address in, and put a picture in. So mm. hopefully that's okay. So the form we had to fill in is some uh, passenger location migration form thing. Um, so once I'll post a link to it. Once it's filled out, once we fill out, this is the address of the accommodation, the dates where we're going to be there. Oh, let me see. And uh, then I've got a little tick and X down things. Once we get there, maybe we need to put tick it. Maybe, I don't know. We We're don't not know. Sure really. We'll find out on the border. But uh, yeah, I hope we've done it all right. People said it's a little bit of a, um, it's hard to do it. it the form itself wasn't difficult it to do. It wasn't hard to do. No, no it wasn't. Uh, we use, everything is in Spanish by the way, so we use um, translator, but uh, yeah, just, just a for another form. Exactly, so yeah, you just fill in your details to register. Then once you're registered, you put where your first address is and the dates and stuff. So we've done all that. Uh, we're going to go print off our vaccination results now. And you, then... Yeah, sorry. You could do it even easier. There was an option on the top, like if we've got residential or not residential uh, accommodation. So you could pick, you could go on that, on the app, on the website, you could pick uh, the non-residential, yeah? And then it gave you options of a ho hotels. And then you could just pick one of those hotels and then decide to quickly book it, uh, yeah. if you know what I mean. So that way it might be a little bit easier for you. So you yeah. So when you're you're posting your location of where you're staying, mm -hmm. you did give you a list of options as hotel of hotels. So was, if you've got a hotel, list. if you've got a proper hotel in wherever you're staying, it might be on that list and it might be a lot easier. But we had an Airbnb, so we had to do it ourselves, put in the address ourselves and stuff like that. So yeah. Pretty yeah. Easy anyway. So we're gonna get up in the morning and. Get a collectivo. Have a breakfast. Yeah, go get a collectivo. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow. Bye. Not the best day for it. Rain, rain, rain. Not a taxi. Okay, we've been dropped off at the bus terminal. All the minivans are just up here. So the place is called, what's it called, Kasha? Des... Des... Depo. Desaguerdo? Desaguerdo. I, I was close. Huh? So there should be collectivos here to Desaguerdo. Apparently, so uh, fingers crossed. Should have been this terminal. Terminal Zonal Sur. That's where we should have got jumped off. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. One, two. 
¿Cuánto cuesta? Tres soles. Se ve, se ve, es bonita. So yeah, I'll mark the location of the bus terminal we've got, got on the map. It's not, it's, it's all soaked now, but it's not that one. No, all our documents are soaked. It shouldn't be. Fantastic. So we just got to wait for that one to go and then we're in next. Come on, briefly. On the Collectivo, uh, there's 13 souls each. So it's getting full quite quickly, so we waited five minutes, not long. And now we're going to head to Desagunlindu, something like that, where we cross the border. So we made it to Desaguadero uh, oh. from Puno. Jesus, that was an uncomfortable ride. Uh, yeah, we had a big backpack and a small backpacks on our legs. Yeah, two and a half hours squished in. <laughs> yeah. So we're here. Uh, it says on Google Maps it's like a nine minute walk to crossing. the crossing. So we're going to walk. We've but got you bomb. can get a taxi. You can get one of these little things. Yeah. I mean, there's no way they dropped us off to those people. Yeah, we straight up to, to us. We want to walk our legs off. Yeah, we need to walk and we've got I a few to... more uh, soles to spend. So. We thought we might get rid of them, but anyway, yeah. Uh, let's spend some, so some yeah. so let's spend some money, yeah. and let's go to the border crossing. And what's the time? Oh. Ten to ten. Ah, oh. ten to ten in the morning. So yes, we're crossing the open. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we're staying here for a night. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the town just before the border, and there's so many little stalls, changing money. Just these little people, little people. <laughs> Just these people set up, all exchanging money. So it's pretty easy. We're exchanging the last of our solas into Bolivianos. Perfect. Okay, we came to somewhere where someone pointed us in the direction of crossing to Bolivia. Yeah. But there's like these little boats that take you across the water. I think that's why you cross illegally without the test. But we sadly have to cross illegally, so we have to find the bridge. Yeah, this is uh Look at the goat. The sheep. Yeah. Yeah, we don't think this is right. There's a bridge up there. Very odd. Very, very odd. I was thinking that the COVID tests are very expensive for the locals. So you just get a boat across? Yeah. Okay, like there's a bridge up there. That's the bridge we have to take. I'm assuming that's the bridge we have to go across. I think so. Looks definitely more official. Thank you for your visit. So this is definitely where we leave. Uh, do you want to go to the shop and yeah. spend the last few coins? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is where we need to go. <sighs> Rather than get a little boat across. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to. You can, but... It'd be illegal in the ground. So we went in here behind me. And we literally just got a stamp in our passports. That was yeah. literally it. Uh, did you check the passport, checked our face against the passport and stamped? Yeah. So now we're crossing in to Bolivia. We think so. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. So now literally just got the stamp and walking across. Yeah. Alright, the first part is very easy. Oh, oh nice. Welcome to Bolivia. Now this is where it might get tricky. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Let's see. So we literally just checked our vaccine. Print out, you can do it on the phone as well. Our two vaccines. Here then, yeah? So we just went in that building. So uh, there's a queue here, so we think this is what we have to queue up for. Next in the queue. So we did it. We got through. So there, this office just across the border. It's all trying to. You don't really have to. You can get away without going. Probably. You could just I wouldn't walk. recommend it. No, I wouldn't recommend oh. it. Um, so we waited, what, an hour in queuing? Probably, yeah. There's like some little mini buses, so maybe collectivas. Anyway, we waited in a queue. Then uh, we finally got called. The queue is so strange, like anyone can push in. Oh, yeah, it's just they're calling anyone from anywhere. But yeah. it took a while, so we went there 
Uh, Mine ran quite quickly. He just took my paper to work, asked me if he's, I'm a tourist, stamped my passport, and, and the um, other guy told me to wait in that little area I was waiting for you. Okay, that's fair enough. So, yeah, literally gave him the copies of insurance. Insurance. PCR test. PCR test. Passport. Passport. And a copy of, we gave them of uh, vaccination. Vaccine. So, they took all those four, uh, they took a picture of us, and then they stamped our passport, and that was it, and yeah. we're through. So, very easy. So let's go. So we're gonna go get a collectivo or a bus to La Paz. Yeah. Let's go. We walked two minutes and then the we collectivo uh, for La Paz. It's gonna take us to the terminal. Terminal. Bus terminal, which is yeah. what you'd expect. Four thirty Bolivianos each. Which is I'm not sure what that is yet. Each. Not bad. So uh, this is gonna take us to La Paz. So that's how easy it is to cross the border. Yes. So we hope you find this useful. If you did, then like and subscribe. And see you at the next video. See you in our first video in the past. Yeah.